Before creating any recorded lectures or presentations, be sure to have all your resources on hand and practice your lecture before recording your session. When creating your slides, keep your audience in time and pace with your slides by adding the slide number and informing your audience which slide you are on and when you move to another. That way, they can easily follow your lecture and can refer back to the relevant slide if they get lost. You can use any application that records sound or your computer's sound record system or use Echo 360's personal capture to record your voice and then auto-upload the file to your Echo library together with your PowerPoint slides or upload to any other location you wish. If you upload video and PowerPoint files to your Echo library, you can share these files to your Echo course. Once the files are uploaded and processed, locate and select the file you want, and select Share from the dropdown. You can share files with an individual or a group. We'll look at these options in greater detail in a future video, but for now we'll share the files with an Echo course. Select Class and then choose your course name from the drop-down. Select the relevant term and the relevant section name. If you are sharing a PowerPoint file, for example, with an existing scheduled recording, click Existing Class and then choose the desired schedule. Selecting New Class will allow you to create a new entry in your schedule list. Class is Echo 360's designation for a scheduled recording. When you are ready, Click the Share button. To check the share, choose your course and section from the My Courses tab. In our example, we shared a PowerPoint file, which you can see by clicking on the Presentation icon. The Video icon shows a file we uploaded earlier. If you're creating standalone MP3 audio files, you can upload the MP3s together with your PowerPoint slides to your Moodle course. To achieve this, create a folder resource in Moodle with a meaningful title and upload your audio and PowerPoint files into the folder. You can exit the folder at a later time to include more files when ready. The students can download the audio and PowerPoint files as they would any other file formats with the Moodle folder resource.